Howdy, howdy, YouTube. Well, it's been over a year now since I made my SL or XL tires video. And if you guys remember in the video prior to that, the issue I was having was the regular SL tires were wearing on the outside of the tire more than on the inside of the tire which is an indication that the tire is overloaded and it's actually cupping when it's going underneath the tire is actually cupping and putting more pressure on the outside of the tire <clears throat> than it did on the inside of the tire and this problem didn't really seem to be corrected by adding more air all that did was make the tire or the ride rougher so you know in my sl versus xl tire video i sh showed the physical differences and the way the two tires are made and why i theorized that they would work better on this van <clears throat> so now like i said it's been over a year i've gone thirty thousand miles these are seventy five thousand mile rated rated tires so, you know, they come with 12 30 seconds of tread depth, brand new. So, if they were at 37,000 miles, they should be reading somewhere around 6 30 seconds of an inch of tread left. And they're pretty much right on mark. But, and that's good because it's showing they're wearing like they're supposed to. Um, proves that you know I don't have crazy driving habits and prematurely wear out my tires I just drive a lot of miles every year but more importantly I want to show you guys that I was right about the tread wear so if I take my readings across here I'll show you guys all right Come on, focus camera. If you guys can see that, it's right just below the 7. Sorry about the focus, guys. It's my driveway freaking it out and everything else. Come on now. There we go. Okay, just below the 7. Let's take it in the middle. Alright. Look, exactly the same spot. Take it over here on the side. I know the focus, guys. I know. Look, same exact spot. It's perfectly even. It's wearing perfectly even across the tire now. I'm not going to do all four tires. I mean, I bought them all at the same time, and they all have the same amount of treads. So there's no point in showing all of them. But um, it just goes to prove <clears throat> that I was right. The XL tires, in my situation, are better... Uh, you know suited for this vehicle because I ride with the car fully loaded most of the time got five kids <clears throat> you know I got the thing loaded down with groceries I've even got a big uh, roof bag that goes on the top for uh, extra storage and sometimes I tell you this thing is sagging so much in the back that I hit the bump stops going over like a speed bump in the parking lot or something, you'll feel it hit the, the parking stops. But that's okay. Um, doesn't really matter to me. It does what it, what it needs to do. So <clears throat> I just wanted to make this follow-up video because, you know, some of you have commented wondering, you know, how's it going? And another question people ask is, how does my miles per gallon do? So, yeah, I have taken a little bit of a hit in the miles per gallon department. Um, it seems to me I've lost roughly 50 miles to a tank full of gas with these XL rated tires. So, you know, I don't really... To me, I, I'm, I'm, that doesn't really bug me that much, you know? I mean, you figure about 20 gallons to a tank full of gas 
when it's empty you know versus 50 miles so I've lost maybe two and a half three miles per gallon with the XL rated tires but to me I'd rather have the tire performing better it seems to be safer I don't have to over pressurize my tires I have them set at what the factory says on the door and I'm assuming now with my old tires if they were sagging so much that it was wearing more on the outside I'm assuming that that was probably generating more heat inside the tire which is dangerous and could cause a blowout so you know that's something you'll have to to ask yourself um you know if if you have the issue i had with the tires wearing more on the outside even though you stay on top of your tire pressure and all that you know like i had uh, somebody commented had a nissan leaf and they were having the exact same problems their tires would wear extremely heavy on the outside but the inside would still be tread and there'd almost be cord hanging out the sides and I, <clears throat> I helped out this viewer and looked up you know common complaints and problems with Nissan Leafs and the problems are that that little car is very heavy with the batteries that are so those batteries are so heavy that the little tires that come on that car just can't handle that much weight so you know i told him i would if i was him i'd switch to an xl rated tire to, to handle the extra weight so that's it guys just wanted to do a little update video got these tires you know about halfway through their life and they're wearing good and people wanted to know how things are going so that's how it's going so you make the call for yourself should you run your standard sl tires or xl tires well ask yourself are you having tire wear problems if you're not then i think you're probably okay but if you are having tire wear problems more wear on the outside than the inside that's an indication of overloading or under inflation but if you stay on top of your tire pressure and you know it's not under inflated then that's an overloaded tire problem so xl tires could solve that y'all have a good one